Hey, what's up guys? It's Steve's MacFix, and today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to actually upgrade your hard drive. So let's say, for example, you have a 120 gigabyte hard drive, you have a bunch of movies in there, and, you know, MP3s and pictures, and you're running out of space, right? So you want to upgrade your 120 gigabyte to a 250 or 500 gigabyte hard drive. It's really simple by cloning it. Um, you can do other ways to move into your new hard drive, but um, and that's like going through your OS and then going through Time Machine, doing that, to, you know, it's a, it's a long process actually if you do it that way. Cloning is a lot simpler and let me show you how to do this, okay? And some of you guys may know of the program called Super Duper. It's been around for a while. It's been with Tiger. I've actually used it on my MacBook, uh, my white MacBook for three times. The first time I actually used it, um, I my hard drive was failing, I could tell. And the second and third time I actually upgraded my hard drive space. So uh, let's go over how to do this and what materials you will need to do uh, this procedure. Now, uh, first of all, you're going to need an external enclosure, which we have here. I've showed you this on a previous tutorial. You might want to check that out. Um, I also go over um, which type of enclosure you need, so make sure you check that video out. I'll post the link in the description there. Okay. So you got your external enclosure. You will also need your new hard drive. I have a new 500 gigabyte hard drive for my MacBook Pro. Woohoo! Pretty stoked about that. And then also too, um, you'll need a program called Super Duper, and I'll have that link in the description. It is free. Okay, for the tutorial's sake, it is a free version. Um, there is an upgraded version for $27.95, and we'll go over that a little bit more in a second. So first of all, you want to get your new hard drive. Right, and you want to hook it up to the pin reader. All right. So again, these are really cheap. They're like six bucks on um, eBay. All right. So hook up your pins to the pin reader. Make sure it's nice and snug. Okay. All right. So we are good there. And then we're going to put it inside the enclosure itself. This one requires me to put the base on first and then the top on. All right. That's simple. So now we have our new hard drive inside this external enclosure and we made it into an external hard drive, right? Okay. Now all you got to do is just hook it up to your Mac. All right. So let me go ahead and do that. One second, guys. Okay. So once you plug it in, your Mac will actually recognize it as an external hard drive, okay? Um, so as you can see, I have a Western Digital hard drive here, and we're going to launch the program called Super Duper. Go ahead and download that if you haven't, and there you go. So Super Duper. Okay. Now, um, here is the GUI of Super Duper. We have um, the first box that says copy. You want to copy your external hard drive. And we're going to actually clone it. What cloning means, you're going to make an exact replica of your hard drive to your new one. Now, you're going to have the exact same files, exact same thing, and your new hard drive will have just more space with the exact same files. Okay, So copy your Macintosh hard drive to what? You want to copy it to your new hard drive. Mine's a Western Digital. Yours might be something different depending on the brand you got. So you have different options here. You could select your drive there. After that, the free version, this is the only option you get, which is a backup all files, which is fine. You only need the free version for this tutorial. If you want to use Super Duper more like a backup machine, um, you could have different options from shared users to user files to all files to restore and sandbox applications and we don't really need this feature you just need the free version okay um, again from there all you gotta do now is just press copy now copying process takes a while it takes about an hour and a half to two hours but then again this is all you do you just press copy and that's it and then put the new hard drive in so what I'm gonna do is press copy now and then from there after I'm done copying everything I'll get my regular camera and we'll film me booting it up for the first time, okay? I'll see you guys in about an hour and a half. Per okay, se. so where am I at right now? I actually swapped, well, I took my new cloned 
hard drive and I put it into my MacBook Pro. I took the old one out and put the new one in. Okay, so uh, actually let me remove this really quick. And what we're going to do is book my new 500 gigabyte um, MacBook Pro. I've done this how many times? Four times now and for some reason I am nervous. I don't know why. Um, I'm just really happy about my baby getting a little steroids inside of her. <laughs> anyway, so here I go. I'm going to go ahead and press the start button. And it should boot. Now, if I remember right, what happens is the the Mac will actually boot slower, okay, at first. It's recognizing all the the memory, the the pin numbers, all the serial numbers of your new hard drive. So it takes about an additional 20 to 20 seconds when the first time you boot it, okay? So normally let's say your Mac takes about 30 to 40 seconds. This will take about 40 to 60 seconds. Um, we'll see if it's uh, if there's a difference. Um, so at least we got the Apple boot logo. That's what you want to see. And now it is actually booting. If you're in trouble, you're in trouble if you don't see that Apple boot logo. Um, honestly, I've never heard anyone having problems with this. So it actually booted pretty decent. Um, it's left exactly the way it is. Um, you can see I still have my items on my desktop, and I let me make sure it's working. I'm gonna pop up Finder, and it works. All right, so sweet. Let me go back to my um, my desktop view, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so that concludes it. Obviously, um, we learned how to actually um, use Super Duper to um, clone your hard drive. Now, what else is another advantage of cloning? Now, let's say for example this. Let me show you something really quick. I have a Western Digital Passport also, and this is actually cloned also. Um, what this does, why would you want a cloned external hard drive besides the fact that you could, you know, swap it out and put it in your new hard drive, right? What's neat about cloning is you could take your external hard drive and load it on someone else's Mac. So, for example, I have a cousin who's a Mac fiend like myself, and he said, I could bring my Mac all in here, take my Mac wherever I am, plug it into his Mac, and my Mac will load up on his Mac. Now obviously it's going to be a little bit slower because you're going through USB. Big deal. But at least you have all your stuff with you at all times. Okay, so that's another advantage of cloning. So today we went over cloning and also how to upgrade your Mac's uh, hard drive by cloning. Alright, I'll see you on the next tutorial. See you next time. Please rate, subscribe. Adios. Bye-bye.